was a headquarter also known as Kayayu. She has defied all odds in life and is now a member of parliament for Lower West Achip. Madam Gifty Clenham is our guest on Everyday People. I, I entered into Kai when I was about 13 and a half years. At, at that age, I thought I was, I was doing something to earn a living and I enjoyed it. You sleep in the market sometimes. I, I didn't have any, any issue with that. And my attitude didn't care so much to know what was going on with me. I, I didn't realize that my life was in danger at that time. Market, people don't sleep. 24-hour service. So it was like, you're always busy doing something. Uh, and my auntie being a top bar operator, we were always busy. And she only comes to collect the money and go. The attention for her to know what was going on with us uh, was, was simply not there. Around 1985, I had not been to school. And so... My auntie's husband one day asked my auntie that why won't you send this girl to school? One Monday when the man said I should go with him. And so he took me to Temadatus from the seven. I was about uh, 15 and a half years or something. They asked me to write an entrance exam. I didn't know what I wrote, but they asked me to give me admission. I entered stage four, and so when I was the end of the stage four, I saw that a national service personnel who had come to the school would always pick some of my mates to go, and if I was even too old for my class, I actually, I don't care about what you think about me, because for me, it is a vision I am pursuing. How long it takes me, I know I'll get there. That has always been my policy. Then I told the national service personnel that I want him to help me to speak English. I want him to help me to write English. The next day when I went and did Kayayi, I brought all the money I got and I gave it to him. Then he realized that I was serious. Then he asked me to join the students. My auntie will want me to come back and sell. I will not go. I'll get home around 8 p.m. Then they will beat me up seriously. So the following day, I have to stay and do all the work I had to do. So I was always going to school at 10 a.m. When I get to school at 10 a.m., then the teachers too beat me. There is one particular teacher I never forget. When I was about entering stage five, my elder brother visited. Then I told him that, please go and register me come. I said, ah, you have just started school. So if I register you come on entrance, how will you make, write it? I said, I am really suffering here, but I want to get out of here. I can only get out of here if I have education. So the care that I had done, and I that took extra money from my auntie's purse, and I added it to it. I said, take it, go and register me come on entrance. So he went to his man, and registered me the common entrance and he knew early. When I finished writing the command entrance, I came back to Tema to work. I was there and they, they called me that um, the common entrance results has come and I was the second highest. I chose the roses. Somebody to go and look for admission for me, I didn't get anybody. The time I, I organized myself, they told me it's, it's over. So they sent my forms to assume secondary school. And that was how I ended up in assume secondary school. And then when I went there, God knowing very well that my school fees was going to be a problem, because I was the second highest, they gave me government scholarship. That is how I entered secondary school. After finishing the, the one to five, I wrote, and then I had uh, at grade seven in English. And those at grade seven, you could did not enter this form straight away unless you do the seven again. So I wrote again, and I had five. Then so I did my A-level private inter when I cried. Then I moved on. I did some courses in the past world. I decided to enter into politics in 1997. It's an industry that you need credible people to enter. Because um, if you sit back and you say that I'm not a politician, 
true. I don't care what the political minds will do. The replication will always have impact on you. If it's bad governance, you suffer. For me, it's a decision I have made that I will also not sit down for people to make decisions on my behalf. I want to be there and look at what they do.